what comes to mind when you picture the perfect autumn destination? For me, it looks like trees bursting with color, sipping apple cider, exploring charming small towns, leaves crunching under my boots, and soaking in the crisp fall air. Sound like heaven on earth? Well, all of that and more is what's in store for you when you visit Stowe, Vermont in autumn. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the top 15 things that you need to do in Stowe on your next fall adventure. So let's get cracking. Now before we get into the list, I want to give you a little bit of history and some information that I think would be helpful to you before you visit Stowe. But if you're tight for time and you want to get right into my list, then you can head to this timestamp right here. And if you want to follow in my footsteps and go on your own Stowe adventure, I've organized this list into your perfect three-day Stowe itinerary with the help of Go Stowe. I'll drop the link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. You'll find Stowe in north central Vermont, just 45 minutes away from Burlington, the state's largest city. My mom joined me on this trip and we're both kind of obsessed with road trips, so we decided to drive from Chicago. Now that drive takes about 16 hours, which I recommend breaking up between two days. But if you choose to fly, there are direct flights from Chicago that are just over two hours. So it's kind of an open secret that Stowe is one of the best places to peep some fall foliage here in the United States. I mean, it's not called the color capital of fall for nothing. And we're here right at the beginning of peak leaf peeping season. So the colors are just starting to really pop. But beyond its natural beauty, which is on full display this time of year, Stowe is also referred to as the ski capital of the East, and it sits right at the base of Mount Mansfield, Vermont's tallest peak. Stowe's history dates back almost as far as the history of the United States. And don't be surprised if you get some strong Sound of Music vibes from this town, because this is where the Von Trapp family, yeah, those Von Tramps, chose to settle in the 1940s because it reminded them of their beloved Austria. More on that in a little bit. Visit Stowe if you're looking for small town charm, breathtaking scenery, and a destination that truly offers visitors something special in every season. All right, let's get into the list. Number one, Check into the Field Guide Lodge, a stylish boutique hotel centrally located in the heart of Stowe. The hotel, once a classic ski dorm, is the perfect size with just 30 rooms that really give you that luxe lodge feel with modern touches and just little pops of color. And the beds are oh so comfy. P.S. Field Guide is part of the Lark Hotels Group, which has a number of other hotels across the U.S. in iconic destinations like Newport, Salem, and Carmel. Number two, take in the panoramic views of Mount Mansfield on a gondola ride at Stowe Mountain Resort. There are so many ways to appreciate all the views here in Stowe, from the hiking and biking trails to the auto toll road that goes all the way up Mount Mansfield. But we decided to take the gondola because we like to arrive in style. Once you're at the top, you can access the various hiking trails and just hang out and relax. But if you'd really like to take things over the top, you can have lunch at the Cliff House restaurant where the food and views are top notch. Number three, check out the Stowe Farmer's Market that takes place on Sundays from May to October. If you are looking for some locally made products, this is your number one spot that you've got to come to. From fresh vegetables and fruits and beautiful bouquets of flowers to locally made arts and crafts, honestly, the Stowe Farmer's Market is where you got to be on a Sunday. Number four, have a hard cider tasting at the Stowe Cider Tap Room. I'm gonna run you through the ciders that I got in my lineup. All right, so we've started with apple haze, then we've got raspberry and honey, and then this one is Brainwaves gummy bears, I believe, and then we've got some sort of sangria situation. Um, but I am most excited to try this one because it is infused with blue raspberry gummy bears and sour candy, so cheers. 
I love it. It's like Sour Patch Kids in cider form. Stowe Cider is constantly coming up with new and fun flavors, and what's on tap is always on rotation to keep things new and exciting for visitors and locals alike. And cheers to Stowe. Number five, head to the heart of Stowe for some shopping on Main Street. Some of my favorite shops to pop into were Farm Home Marketplace, The Boutique, Laughing Moon Chocolates, and Remarkable Things, which is right next to an iconic Vermont site, this pedestrian covered bridge. I pretty much always work up an appetite when I go shopping, so if you're looking for breakfast, lunch, or even just a sweet treat, I suggest popping into Cafe on Main. We stopped in for lunch and had the yummiest curry chicken salad sandwich and ate it outside on their patio because the weather was perfect. Ooh, and before you go, make sure to check out the exposed outdoor art exhibits right at the current art center. Number six, grab dinner at Idle Time Brewing Company. Before it was the restaurant and brewery that we see today, this historic property used to be a cider mill in the early 1900s, then it was Camp Idle Time, and then the Shed Restaurant, which ultimately brought brewing right here to Stowe. This is the perfect place to close out your day of adventuring with some delicious food and drinks. And in my opinion, this is the best outdoor patio in all of Stowe, so it is totally worth the wait if you can snag a table. Number seven, take a self-guided tour to learn how apple cider is made and try some of the most delicious cider donuts at Cold Hollow Cider Mill. To me, nothing says fall more than apple cider and apple cider donuts. And this is essentially Vermont's version of aromatherapy. It smells so good, but since there is no such thing as smell-o-vision just yet, you're gonna have to come here and taste for yourself and smell for yourself too. Number eight, start your day with breakfast at Skinny Pancake. This Vermont favorite got its start selling crepes out of a cart made of wood scraps and has since grown to include eight locations across the state with a serious commitment to all things local, music, culture, and of course, cuisine. There's no shortage of sweet and savory crepes here, but I'd recommend ordering the apples and brie. It was so good. Wow. Like. Number nine, go for a scenic drive through Smuggler's Notch. I love a good scenic drive, and the one through Smuggler's Notch is probably the most scenic and most popular in the area. And a little fun fact for you, Smuggler's Notch got its name because this was the rocky path through the mountains that smugglers used to use to bring supplies and trade to and from Canada when it was outlawed by President Thomas Jefferson. This was also the path that was used to smuggle alcohol over the border during Prohibition. Start your journey from south to north for the most scenic approach. You can find directions for this exact scenic route and many others via the Go Stow website, which I'll link in the description of this video. Number 10, enjoy dinner and a glass or two of wine at Cork, Vermont's first and only natural wine shop and restaurant. The wines you'll find on the list here at Cork come from vineyards where the grapes are grown organically or biodynamically, without artificial irrigation, pesticides, chemicals, or fertilizers. I love how eclectic the menu is. Everything is shareable, and this is a great spot to come for fresh local cuisine and leave with a bottle or two to take home with you. Number 11. Get the full Vaughn Trap experience with a tour of the Trap Family Lodge, a 96 room lodge that sits on 2,500 acres of land. When the Vaughn Trap family, you know, the family whose story inspired the sound of music, was touring the US in the 1940s, they fell in love with this area and eventually settled down in Stowe and in 1950 started welcoming guests into their rustic 27-room family home. In 1980, a devastating fire burnt down the original structure, which was then rebuilt into the lodge that we see today. You can grab breakfast at the Trap Coffee House, take a tour of the lodge, and explore the gardens, all while soaking in these beautiful views. Oh, and of course you can call this home during your visit. The hills are alive. I'll stop singing right now, but come on. Kind of had to do it, right? That is. <laughs> Number 12, learn how maple syrup is made on a tour of Nebraska Knoll Sugar Farm. 
Every spring since 1980, the Cody family has been tapping maple trees at the foothills of Mount Mansfield. And for about four to eight weeks in March and April, the sugar makers, coolest title ever, collect the sap and boil it down into maple syrup. Fun fact that I just learned, basically the sap from a maple tree looks and tastes essentially like sweet water, and they need 50 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. Tasting the dark, robust. Oh my. Number 13, have dinner at one of Stowe's newest restaurants, Wildflower. Opened in 2021, their dinner menu is full of American classics blended with Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Korean flavors to pay homage to the restaurant group's family heritage. Now, I would order the empanadas, the tagliatelle with a Korean spin to it, and make sure that you leave room for their pineapple toasted coconut cake because, oh, it's the best thing I've ever had. Number 14, take a short, easy hike to Moss Glen Falls, Vermont's tallest waterfall. All in, it only takes about 20 minutes to walk to and from the falls, and getting here is just a short five minute drive from Stowe's historic village. So you're gonna follow the water upstream from the parking area until you get to this little fork in the road right here. And if you wanna see the falls from above, you go left, or if you wanna see them from below, you go right. And that's the way I'm gonna go. I've got the place to myself. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Sorry, I know I promised I wouldn't sing anymore in this video. I, I, I mean it this time. <laughs> Number 15, check out some of Stowe's classic covered bridges. You'll see these postcard worthy bridges along scenic drives and all throughout the state because Vermont is home to more covered bridges per square mile than any other state in the US. Now I recommend checking out the Gold Brook Covered Bridge, AKA Emily's Bridge. It's the oldest bridge of its kind in Vermont and apparently it's said to be haunted by the ghost of Emily, of course. So come here in the evening only if you dare. Thanks for traveling through Stowe with me. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and while you're at it, why not subscribe for more travel tips and guides? And if you wanna see how these recommendations fit perfectly into a three-day itinerary, head to the link in the description of this video. I'll catch you guys next time.